eight rate and three is, is a tough kind of combination of statistics. But you know, clearly with those things, all things aside, these guys still had a chance to win it late. Um, I thought they're um, they were better than a week ago. Their physical, their, their um, execution offensively, and their purpose on that end, and concentration, uh, and then on the defensive end, we're, we're more connected. So, uh, good progress. We know it's a, it's a long season, and it's uh, important to, um, to keep getting better. And, and I thought we got better from the week ago. They, they seem to like to want to mix it up with the, the shoving and the elbowing at times, just making it physical. Did they, did they really set the tone for how the game was played out, that and the officiating? That's an ACC game. I mean, that's these are these games matter. These kids are really familiar with one another, um, and so you know, in the heat of the moment, competitors are going to you know try to act in a certain way to, to try to fire their team out. That's that's happened obviously. Lee Brown, Lee Brown at Michigan had that same mentality. You know. Um, Asia's got a little bit of that for us, which is good. You know, we've, we're trying to, you know, we've got, you know, we're, we're trying to increase our physicality and toughness as well. Um, just wanted to ask, you guys talked a lot about this after the Michigan game, but really, like, now is the time to start coming out stronger in games. Just how do you evaluate how well you did in this game in yeah. regards to that? I thought if we played the way we did against Michigan, we would have lost by a lot of points tonight. You know, um, we never, we, you know, we didn't let them go on a big run. Um, you know, in the third quarter there, we miss a bunny, we give up a no board, um, and so that quickly turns into two makes for them, two misses for us, which, which quickly turns into an eight-point swing. Um, but for the most part, you know, I felt like on both sides of the ball, we were, we were better than we have been. Um, you know, it's just these teams are better. You know, Florida State's a really good basketball team, and so is Virginia Tech, and then so is Miami, and then so is Notre Dame. It's just kind of what this league's about. So, you know, it, it's one game, and you don't want to drop them at home, um, clearly, so we're all disappointed. But um, again, I, I, I can I can do stuff with the group that was playing tonight more than I can do with the group that played against Michigan. And you said you guys played better than you did against Michigan, but how do you move forward from a loss knowing that you did play better, but trying to continue to get better to turn that into a win? Yeah. Well, you don't, you know, you, as I told these guys, you're, you're not going to go undefeated in the ACC. I don't know the last time someone did that. I haven't been in the league very long, but I, I don't think. I'm, I'd bet a lot of money that no one's going to go undefeated this year either, and I think there'll be multiple losses. Um, and so, you know, you just you can't you, you, it, it can't only be about results. It has to be about who you are and how you pro how you progress and how that drives you to the next opportunity. Um, and so, you know, I, I don't think I think we'll lose another one at some point. You know, that's just kind of how that's going to go. But um, the gauntlet is what it is, um, and uh, we have to take one at a time. And you know, you have to win the ones at home. So that, that's part of the disappointment for us. I thought our crowd was excellent. They helped us as much as they could. Um, to have a, no students and have that crowd shows the growth of what these guys have earned in terms of the crowd. How do you explain the second chance points? You've not given up more than 11 in any game, and then they, they have 37. Is that the physicality? Is that just uh, – yeah, how do you great. explain that? We aren't physical enough. There's no doubt about it. We're not big enough. We're not physical enough. Um, we don't guard the ball well enough, so they go by us, which means we're now in rotation. Um, you know, we have to be better at guarding athletic guards on the perimeter, and we have to be more physical in the low post. Neither of those things we really have been. This particular group has been um, in comparison to what they were last year. So they, and they know that. I've told them that. You know, they have to be better. Um, and, um, yeah, but at the same time, it's one of the more physical teams that we play. Is that something that did you think this team has in them to, to come up with? Uh, I, I think they should be better. I, I think we'll get better as it goes on. Um, but they'll, you'll have to ask them. I think physic. I, I think I'm from a small town in New Hampshire, man. No one pushes me around. That's just how it goes. That's how it goes, right? So you know, I, I don't know, but um, they're here and available for the, that question as well. I guess for both of the players, just you guys do tend to be kind of an undersized team. We talk about that a lot. So in a game like this, where I mean, again, they're getting so many second chance points. What things do you have to do in terms of like physicality to combat that? You know, like specific things if you can speak to that. Yeah, to combat size, we have to just have better positioning and more toughness. So that means in the low post, you're pushing out your drill that you're guarding on the rebound, and you're going to get, you're going to go get the ball, and that's just something that we're really focusing in on these next couple days. Can you talk about the way the game went? I mean, you got an intentional foul for. Diving on the floor, I, I didn't understand that. But uh, just just how the game was played, it was so physical. And and uh, have you played a game like that this this season? Yeah, I mean, coach said it best. Like the ACC is a tough league, and it's arguably the best league in the country. So I'm like that play specifically. I'm just trying to make a toughness play, get on the ball, hopefully come up with it, and our team gets another possession. So that's a win in my book. And 
Although it didn't turn out the way I wanted to, I'm just going to keep being tough. They feel like they were trying to get under your skin? Not necessarily. I think it's just competitive basketball. Um, we all know each other like the back of our hands, so we're just trying to like just trying to play chess, um, just trying to force tough shots. Deja, you had some battles with number four, pushing and shoving. Uh, can you talk about her battles with her tonight? Yeah, I mean, she's just a bit, that's her. She's a dirty player in some sense. She, that's her job is defense um, and just to try to get under people's skin. I knew that that was going to be her assignment tonight. Um, you know, I didn't back down, I wouldn't say, but I also didn't try to pay too much attention to it. You know, they were almost about to check her up. I was just like, so, yeah. In the first half, Latson only had five points. Uh, what did you all do defensively against her in the first half? And it was just it was just a matter of her talent coming through in the second half. Yeah, um, I think that she, you know, in the first half that, you know, she got in the paint a little bit. I thought we, we guarded her pretty well in the perimeter, but when she did get in, um, I think, you know, we just let, allowed her to, to throw it up and just make sure that she saw bodies in the paint. I think she did. I thought she saw two or three bodies at the time when she was taking her shots. Um, I think the second half, I don't think we guarded as well. Um, I think they, she was able to kind of get into the paint, make plays for herself, and um, she knocked down a few threes, I think. Um, and yeah, in the second half. So I don't think we just guarded as well. A question for whoever feels like answering. Mm -hmm. You guys are the last team in the conference to begin ACC play. How do you think that affects your first ACC game, and how will you use what you've learned in this first ACC game to succeed in the conference? I think this first game is just a stepping stone for us to um, get back in the gym and work on the things that we clearly need to work on based on the stats. So we're ready for the fight and we're coming. A question for Deja, just kind of going back to the second chance points. I mean, neither team was shooting particularly well, but FSU rebounded, I think, like close to 20 of their 45 misses. Did this become like frustrating at any point for you guys? Just kind of defensively to see that. For sure, um, but I think it just came down to where it didn't matter enough. Um, and it wasn't frustrating enough because we didn't really um, change it or just become more physical. I think it just came down to toughness and, and physicality, and, and um, especially in the second half, um, where we just weren't physical enough and it, it didn't matter enough. Um, so that's something we'll definitely uh, go through the practice in the next few days and definitely focus on. But now, first, I, mean, I think you guys had three consecutive three-point attempts that could have tied it and missed all three. And it, it, it just seemed like you're a couple of threes away from turning it around. How frustrating is that when the, the, that sequence is happening? Very. For me personally, um, I, there was one that I, that was definitely could have been in tender um, that I missed. So obviously that one's going to sting with me. Um, but yeah, we had a lot of opportunities as a team. Um, I mean, shooting four for 23 as a team is not great. So um, we're definitely going to get in the gym and just as guards um, where we lock in. Courtney, did that give you some hope knowing you're not going to shoot like that <laughs> well, most nights? And if you shot, shot into a little bit better, you probably win the game. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I mean, I think they, they got 23 points or 24 points from the three-point line. We got 12, right? So that's a big difference. Um, you know, and, and again, you can't be undersized and, and not have, you know, not, not come up with kind of a lot of low point, low post points and then also not shoot a free will. Like, that's just not really an equation for winning basketball games, right? So we're going to have to shoot better. Right? Just like it's not gonna it's not a great equation to not be able to keep bodies in front of you and then to ask us to out and down them. Right. So, you know, these guys are they, they, we are who we are and, and, and we have to know where our strengths and weaknesses are and um, you know, it's a good basketball game. We didn't we didn't shoot well enough to win. I thought they were the fact that you know, the fact that we had a chance to win late shows you that we're we're good enough to win. We didn't shoot well enough to do it, but we're good enough to win. A quick question on yeah. how the play at the end it looked like two, maybe three inbounds plays where you're, you're kind of clearing out the right side for Deja to drive it in. Was that kind of always the plan or is that maybe a result of the three-point shooting not going the way you guys No, the first one, Eva got a three at the, at the slot. And the second mm -hmm. one, um, Deja had a, an, an ISO on the wing. And the third one, Tati was going to have a baseline ISO. Okay. So we have all good players that we can set up in different ways. So, you know, we had to keep mixing it up. Thank you. Thank you.